The cat sat on the fence in tents. The mice, they camped in tents, tents. The standoff was at handoff. Plagues, they come and go. This time the mice put on a real show. They bought jumpers for the cold. They strutted round real bold. The workers built a barge, directed by the mouse in charge. Cats, they don't like water. So he thought they ought to build a moat. And on the barge they then would float to war against the cat. And that was that. Mouse in charge was a large and mean and wiry beast, to say the least. He gathered his warriors for a chat about warfare with the cat. To a feast of warfarin they sat. They were tough little critters. They washed it down with gin and bitters. The cat on the fence, in tents, had gone to warn the cattery, rubbed up against the top cat, indicating flattery. Top cat hitched up his pants and assumed an arrogant stance. We will defend the cattery and build a battery, he said, and fight till we are dead. A cool cat with a mouse fur hat made a statement during an abatement in a storm, which was out of the norm, he said, bowing his head. We need a boat. The mice are behind a moat, and we build a battery. I think you're thinking scattery. He cleared his throat. <coughs> we need a boat to breach their defences and bring them to their senses. We're cats, no doubt, and mice we should be able to rout. Top cat smelled a rat. Was this cat in a mouse fur hat an infiltrator? impersonator. No wonder Top Cat smelled a rat. In disguise, with pale blue eyes, was a rat. Under the mouse fur hat, the rat, disguised as a cat in a mouse fur hat, nearly blew it when he slipped on some suet, dislodging the hat from his cruet. Quickly gathering his composure to avoid exposure, returned to the rat pack to ready the attack. These rats, carnivorous and vociferous and numerous too, were out to destroy and destroy every cat and mouse and every kangaroo. The plan was gross, or was it grouse? As they controlled the sewer, the cats were fewer. They would drown the cat, and that would be that. A boat full of cats was sunk by the rats, who continued across the water to a mouse slaughter, but ran into a white flag, carried by the usual flag-waving wag, who didn't think they ought to. The wag wasn't a local, and very, very vocal about common good and brotherhood, and made a grand speech while eating a peach. He slurped and stuttered and uttered obscenities and profanities. But in between this, he spoke of the bliss of acknowledging links to the polecat that stinks and that great bat, the flying fox, as he pulled up his socks. He reiterated about us all being related. If we didn't pull together, we would all be ill-fated and like the cat exterminated. The speech was a peach. The peach had a seed to succeed against war and greed. It was ours to germinate it. So the German ate it. Is the standoff in handoff or some garden in Harden? Or he could have made his deposit in some sterile water closet. <laughs>